Hi guys and welcome to the update with the Hawk Moth. So personally I'm really really annoyed with myself because so much has happened and I've completely missed filming it. Usually I film everything and just every time I go to film it I think oh no it's okay I'll film that later and later and then I miss the actual thing. So first things first I moved the Hawk Moth caterpillar into a bigger enclosure this is actually Harry's original one so I cleaned it out put a bit of bamboo in here and the leaves now for about three days it was just walking around the tank and I thought oh god maybe I should go and look for leaves that it will actually eat because it wasn't really eating these so I went out and got some lilac and some privet and then after that it hadn't eaten any from what I could see and after that it stopped moving and I thought oh my goodness okay I've gone and picked some that's probably been sprayed with something hopefully I haven't killed it but every time I picked it up even though it wasn't walking around every time I picked it up it would wiggle but it was much shorter than you saw it it just sort of shrunk to about that stopped moving so this because I filmed this the original video right at the end of August so this had been quite a few days and I looked online and I saw that actually the privet hawk moth doesn't do like what Harry did when making the cocoon and chrysalis. It pretty much lays on soil and gets rid of its, I'm going to say exoskeleton although I don't think that's the right word, and that's it pupating. So if we look over here, I added in some eco earth and put some leaves in there and you may be able to see the cocoon here <laughs> and it was probably on there for about three days and all of a sudden it pupated now what's really annoying is firstly I didn't get to show you it before it pupated secondly I didn't show you it straight after it pupated because it was bright green but I will link a video in the description below that I saw on YouTube because it's really cool to see and now it's gone brown and it's actually I think it's wiggled a bit because it's buried itself a bit in there I don't know if it'll oh, oh it's wiggling so it's actually shed all of this which I'll get a close-up on in a minute it's all crispy oh my god I'm gonna get a close-up on this so check this out that uh, do you know what when I was holding him and I was like oh my god it's a teeth I think it was just the legs they're really really strong and then the spike at the end so a few people said about this maybe it's like a defense mechanism they turn around and spike you in all honesty though I think it's quite soft I'm pretty sure it's more to prevent things from catching it maybe it could use it but from holding it it really didn't hurt um, but you may have noticed actually that there's this long black line throughout its back and then it comes out like black on the spike and I noticed when every time it moved you saw that sort of pump this black just pump and I actually think it had one puncture hole from the cat so you may have seen a black dot well that went quite crispy and I think maybe that was a puncture wound but it healed itself very well so nothing to worry about there also another thing I mentioned in the last video is I needed a name and I suddenly got loads so thank you for that. I must say Sir Wigglesworth was extremely popular so I will give that one a shout out although I'm not going to go with that one. It was extremely popular. Second to that was Harambe. <laughs> um, even Harambe himself recommended his name so you know wow. Well, <laughs> the actual name I chose though, uh, I'll just go through the names now, and it was Edgar. I kind of like the name, I know PewDiePie has a uh, pug called Edgar, so I like the name, and so our Hawk Moth is going to be called Edgar. I know that isn't the most popular one that was there, but it's what I chose, but thank you all for your suggestions, and I did see some people saying, have you made videos for pet names before? I have a whole playlist so go check them out there's a recent one which is the ancient Egyptian inspired names so if you ever need pet names I've got you sorted so I'm gonna have a close-up of Edgar now so this is the face area up close and you can actually see in there there is actually still some green there I don't know if that's gonna get any darker I assume that they go quite a brown colour because they bury themselves in the soil and there's old leaves on them so it's actually a great camouflage. When I first saw that he went bright green I was like wow that really stand out. Um, also I just measured him and he is two inches long so uh, quite hefty chrysalis, very heavy as well actually and here he is all together quite close up and I swear he is in that position of 
draw me like one of your French girls. And yeah, I, I think, you know, he's pretty much sorted. I don't know whether to spray the dirt or anything to keep it damp, but it happened so quickly and I guess we're going to have to wait a year now to see what comes from it. I must say someone did, I think a couple people said about putting him on dirt, but luckily because of the time of filming, I'd already put him on dirt and everything like quite a few days before uploading the video, so actually the day the video went up is when he pupated, so if you need like a time reference, that's that. So pretty excited, not much to say for now though, we just have to wait for the winter to come and go. Hopefully he doesn't hatch out early because we've had really cold rainy weather and all of a sudden today it's hit like 30 again so it's absolutely boiling. I cannot deal with it as usual. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks very much for watching, thank you for your name suggestions and goodbye.